What is going on, Stallions? Welcome to the Gamer Heaven, where you focus on the past, present, and future of gaming. I think I finally found a solution to my monitor issue. As you guys might know from previous videos, the specific model of monitor I have is not compatible with any wall mounts. I've tried every adapter on the market. I've even tried custom fabricating my own. Just didn't work out for me, so I started looking at monitor risers. However, all of them were either dog ugly, or they just look like they did not have build quality that would make me confident to put my somewhat pricey and somewhat heavy monitor atop. I think I found a solution. Alrighty guys, over here at the Stormtrooper desktop, if you are new to the channel, this is where we do our unboxings, controller builds, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. So, this is from a company called Autumn Tech, or Atum Tech, I'm not really sure how you guys pronounce that. They're the same company that sent me out this metal stand that I am using for a controller currently. It's meant for a tablet or phone, which I have used it for in the past, however, I use it primarily to put my controller on display. And they also sent me out the stand that my camera and ring light are currently on as well. So, they make some pretty solid products, so I am have pretty high hopes about this here. So, hopefully... This does the job for me as my monitor is currently about three inches below the center of my eye level, which is not optimal for gaming, obviously, if you're playing first-person shooters and stuff like that. You want your monitor pretty much dead center in your vision. Not to mention there is this gap right here, and yes, I could lower this top monitor up here, which I use for monitoring my stream, uh, as well as while I'm crypto mining. I have my temperatures and stuff up there. Uh, and then also just general productivity. I drag and drop when I'm video editing and stuff like that. And I also wanted this monitor originally wall mounted. So I had basically this empty slot under here as I am going to be moving the stream deck directly below the monitor so I can see uh, when it's illuminated, if I am still streaming or recording, I can see what scene I have selected in OBS and whatnot. So now I'm going to be able to have stream deck, primary monitor, secondary monitor, all in vertical alignment, which is gonna be really, really awesome. There's some foam padding under here to keep it safe for its journey, as well as a plastic bag to keep it free of dust and debris. There is an instruction manual that just fell out and hit me in the crotch. You have a three-year warranty card right here with their email if you need customer support, as well as a website that you can go to activate your warranty for any of their products. So this thing is all metal, which I'm not surprised by because all their products seem to have insanely good build quality. And then also cosmetically, they just look really, really handsome. So you have your user guide right here. No color, but pictures, good font. English is the primary language, very instructive, very informative. And it explains basically how to assemble this thing as it is adjustable, which is awesome. I can fine tune it exactly where I need the height, which for me is very important as I do have a monitor right above it. So obviously I can't go too high and I do want it high enough to get the stream deck underneath it. All right, so all metal parts which is nice because a lot of the monitor risers that I found on Amazon and walmart.com and stuff like that, they were uh, plastic, which, I mean, this is a metal base on my monitor. It's not light by any means. I don't, I don't want to be putting my monitor on a plastic stand, not to mention they looked kind of oogly and uh, trying to keep this setup as pretty as possible. So down the road, I may paint this a matte white to go kind of with that theme, that Stormtrooper theme that I have. However, I think the black is nice. It does add a little contrast to some of the white that I have around here. So who knows? We'll have to, we'll have to play with that and see how I'm feeling. Right. In this bag right here, you have your hardware. You have a little Allen key, which is the only tool you're going to need for assembly. You have some little black stickers here, which are going to cover your uh, screws, I'm assuming. So everything looks all smooth and flush. All right, let's get this bad boy assembled and I'll be right back. So I really like how the adjustment mechanism works on here. There's these different pegs here and you basically just loose them up like that and you're able to pop them in where you want them. I think I'm probably gonna be right here in the middle and then you just tighten these down by hand. And then of course you do have a uh, foam padding strip on the bottom so you're not scraping up your desk or anything. All right, boys, installation was stupid easy. It took me a little while because I had butterfingers. I kept dropping the screws and collecting a bunch of dog hair on them and whatnot, but uh, pretty nice. Got the little stickers on here to uh, black out the top there. And uh, I feel like just by looking at this, this is going to be a little high. It's probably going to bump the bottom of my monitor. So I have two options. That would be to lift up the, um, the wall mount for the top monitor, which I'll probably end up doing, or to go ahead and lower this. Then uh, there we go. Yeah, I really do like this design here. This is really cool. It makes it easy to adjust. And I think it looks really cool, too, with the holes drilled in it and everything. The machined metal, good look. Thus far, every product I've tried from Atum Tech or Autumn Tech has been uh, a real banger, as the kids say. It is pretty much directly center eye level for me, which is awesome. And it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to because it is substantially higher than I'm used to, but um, it should be 
it should be quite beneficial for me. Now, I do have my secondary monitor in vertical orientation right now, which is good for you streamers if you want to monitor chat and stuff like that. For me personally, doing a lot of productivity work, I want to have it in landscape, not portrait. So I am going to have to raise it up a little bit. I also did or am currently messing around with different positioning for the stream deck. I've messed around with having it up here that's cutting into... Uh, about a quarter to half inch of the bottom of the screen and also it is a little bit disorienting because all these LED panels will be illuminated and I want to primarily focus on my game or whatever so down here I think it'll be out of my field of view but also down there if I want to quickly reach up over my keyboard and do things like switch scenes in OBS or play a sound effect not to mention I can actually see um, that I am still recording or streaming it'll be illuminated which is really nice so we need to get this monitor oriented in front of this one. And also I'm gonna have to redo my cable management as I do have my cables in a uh, little sleeve right here. Webcam splits off and clips onto the monitor. That's a really light monitor in comparison to kind of cheap, kind of chintzy, but hey, it was cheap and it doesn't look chintzy, so that's good. I lost the screw somewhere. Found it. It's a good test of the monitorizer. It's uh, got the weight very unevenly distributed and the monitor's not tipping over or anything, so that's good. There we go. Now we're cooking with grease. Yep, screwdriver. That was the play. I'm gonna go up about an inch or so. Awesome, so we don't gotta worry about too much here. This entire brace here, there's a stud right here. Oh, I found the stud in the room, ladies. All right guys, I'm super satisfied with how it turned out. I had to do a little bit of finagling, you know, adjusting some wires. Obviously the stream deck was all tucked away in the cable tray uh, underneath the desk. So I had to move that over here and basically uh, maneuver it underneath the lift of the monitor mount, but it looks pretty good. Um, since this is a curved monitor and this is a flat monitor, I actually still have access to the buttons on the bottom of the monitor if I need to adjust any settings or anything, which is really nice. Webcam still gets good visibility of me over there. Still get good light from my face cam. Also a quick little bro tip, anytime you unplug a monitor and replug it, Windows 10 is automatically gonna default it to 60 Hertz. So make sure you right click and go into your display settings over here. Click on the monitor that you want. Also, if you have multiple monitors, they might get jumbled up to where they're not organized anymore. Just drag them where you want them. And you wanna make sure that you go down to advanced display settings and by default and by default your refresh rate will be defaulted at 60 hertz so anytime you buy a new monitor it doesn't matter if it's 144 hertz 260 whatever um it's going to be at 60 hertz you need to change that in your display settings over here or you're not going to be taking advantage of that new frame rate also um the third monitor i had it plugged in it was not working um, it was not working originally when i plugged it in so i had to just unplug the hdmi cable from the back of the uh, graphics card, replug it, you know, oldest IT, oldest IT fix in the entire world. Did you unplug it and plug it back in? Like 90% of the time that actually works. So I uh, did that, my monitor came back on and uh, it's already got that night, night mode filter on there because I want this display dimmer than my primary monitor. So this takes the majority of my focus. And up here, that, that's a little bit easier on my eyes, a little dimmer blue light filter, so that way I can just, you know, read my stream and check my uh, stream health and all that stuff. Now I have an extra slot right here where the stream deck used to go. That's gonna be for a headphone stand. Any companies watching, if you'd like to send me a headphone stand for review, go ahead and email me at ak40kevingamerheaven at gmail.com. Now I need to do a little finagling with these wires here to tuck them into that tube and get everything all pretty and streamlined. But overall, I gotta say, I'm really excited. Now, uh, when I sit up straight, like technically, now when I sit up straight, my primary monitor is right there at eye level, which is perfect. And uh, overall, I'm really satisfied with how this turned out. I've been trying to get this monitor up high to get the stream deck underneath it for a couple months now. And I've been trying different uh, wall plate adapters, vase mounts to get it wall mounted. This monitor literally, it just cannot be wall mounted. I've looked through the forums. It's this specific model too. This is the older model. They have made a updated version uh, with, a, with a little bit better brightness, I believe. And it is wall mountable now, so that's good. But yeah, pretty satisfied, boys. If you enjoyed the video, liking it helps it to get seen by more people, which in turn helps me to grow my little channel. Subscribe for more content like this. I do a lot of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.